Reverence, it's Joan at Ten Pentacles Tarot, and I'm here with a reading for my Aquarius friends for October 2022. Today I'm going to be using the Halloween Tarot, created by Kipling West and published by U.S. Game Systems. Before I start, let me say this is a general reading, so everything I say may not apply to you. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, if Aquarius is your sun sign, then please be sure to look at the readings for your moon sign and your rising sign, as both of those signs have will have important information for you as well. All right, so we're going to find out. Spirit, what is Aquarius going to have on their mind in October? What is going to be foremost on Aquarius' mind in October? All right, there's one. And let's look at another one. What is going to be on Aquarius' mind in October? What is going to be on Aquarius' mind in October? All right, that one. And what is going to be going on with Aquarius physically in October? What's going to be going on? physically with Aquarius in October. This could be with their body, with their property, with their health. Okay, so there's three. And what is going to be going on spiritually with Aquarius in October? Wow. Okay, I'm feeling this one and these three jumped out. All right, so let's take a look here. Okay. All righty. And it looks like a lot's going to be going on with you spiritually in October. And at the bottom of the deck, I'm going to put this one over here. And at the bottom of the deck is... The Seven of Ghosts. All right, let's take a look here. So, you may have been going through some um, some shortages or feeling some lack in some way. In you, or you may be feeling some lack in some way in October, and um, this is going to be on your mind. Okay, so this could be. Um, financial issues, this could be um, health issues, whatever it is, um, they're going to be on your mind in October. And this card suggests that even though you may be worried, you may be stressed about this, help is available. So, um, you know, if it's a health issue, go to your doctor. You haven't checked out. If it is a um, financial issue, you know, there is help available for you. So that's going to be on your mind. And also on your mind is going to be the Queen of Ghosts. Now, this could be you or this could be someone you know. And I feel really feel like for somebody, this is going to be a person that's on your mind for some of you. And this is a, a female energy who is very loving and very nurturing. So um, this could be a mother figure for you, um, uh, some sort of a leader figure for you, a female energy that's super nurturing, um, super wise. And this person is going to be on your mind a lot in October. For others of you, um, uh, your nurturing nature, your... Um, motherly nature is going to be coming to the forefront for others of you. And you are going to really feel um, like you are want to, wanting to nurture people, to take care of people, to um, lead people in a loving, motherly way. So there's two ways that could go uh, for some of you. Um, it will be one, and for some of you, it will be another. All right, now physically, we've got the High Priestess. Um, you are going to need, and the High Priestess is a major arcana card, which means that this is a really important um, card for your life, for what's going on in your life, for transformations, for lessons you're here to learn. And one of the things, the High Priestess is all about listening to your intuition. And what this has to do with your body is that your body will give you signs 
when your intuition is speaking to you, okay? You will get feelings in your body. Like, did you ever hear someone say, I have a gut feeling? Okay, sometimes your stomach will uh, feel like it's turning over. Sometimes you'll get a slight headache. You may get twinges in parts of your body when your intuition is trying to tell you something. So in October, you really, really need to pay attention to the signs that your body is giving you um, it can be telling you that something is wrong. It could also be telling you that something is right. So really, really listen to your body in October. Now, the Nine of Imps is the Nine of Wands. And um, this, could, this is a card of sticking to it, okay? Um, a lot of times this card means that you've been through a lot lately. You've been through some things that might not have been too pleasant, but this is all about hang in there. So whatever it is that's going on with you, just hang in there, okay? Hang in there, um, keep going, don't give up. Whether this has to do with something physically that's going on with you um, in your body, whether this has to do with something to do with your home or your uh, job or even a creative project that you're working on, um, a physical project that you're working on, whatever this is, this card is telling you, hang in there in October, keep going, keep persevering, and don't give up. All right. Spiritually, it looks like you've got a lot going on here. Um, these are all minor arcana cards. In fact, the only card in your reading that's a major arcana is this High Priestess. So it's going to be super important to listen to your body and what it's telling you um, that has to do with your intuitive knowledge, your inner knowledge, your body. It, oh, your body will give you signs all the time. So listen to what it says. If you have a funny feeling in the pit of your stomach, it's there to tell you something's wrong. Um, you know, so just listen to your body. Different bodies have different signs that they give you. All right, now let's get back to spirit. Okay, spiritually, we've got the seven of bats, which is the seven of swords. We've got the six of wands. We've got the seven of um, pumpkins or the seven of pentacles. And we've got the ace of wands. Now, so it looks like what's happening and also the page of pumpkins or the page of pentacles. All right, so it looks here like um, the Seven of Swords is all about, uh, you may be feeling that someone is being deceptive or that they have been dishonest with you. Someone has been dishonest with you. Okay. Now, for some of you, this is going to be a spiritual leader. For some of you, you, this could be a spiritual practice that you feel has let you down, all right? So you may be facing some dishonesty. Really look into your teachers. Make sure, and this is not to say that your teachers are dishonest. It's just be careful who you listen to because not everyone out there who is giving spiritual advice is honest, okay? Just be very wise and discerning about what spiritual advice you're taking and who you're taking it from. OK, um, not everybody is out for your best interest. Some people, unfortunately, are out for their own best interest. OK, now the six of wands is also about it's the victory card. So um, you're going to gain some kind of a spiritual victory in October. And this could be maybe um, you'll see something manifesting that you've been working on. Um, you may be getting some some sort of attention for some hard work you've done. Um, your prayer may be coming to uh, be answered. So something that you've been working on spiritually is um, is bearing fruit. It is um, gaining you a victory in an area of your life. Okay, so this is a good, good card um, spiritually or in any any way. All right. And then the seven of pumpkins is um, you've been working hard and you are now beginning to see the results of your hard work. Again, here we go. Maybe you've been meditating for a while and you have um, been working hard at meditating. And even though we don't think of meditating as hard work, when you first start it, uh, meditation practice kind of is. Same thing with yoga. So you may be starting to see the results of the practices that you've been doing. And these are going to be good results. You're going to be happy, happy, happy with them. 
also spiritually in October, you are going to have the opportunity to gain clarity on something you've been wondering about. You are going to have the opportunity to find the truth about something spiritual that you've been thinking about or working on, and you will gain some clarity on that subject or another subject um, of a spiritual nature in October. Um, the Page of Pumpkins is uh, the Page of Pentacles, and this is uh, talking about your desire to learn something new. Um, it may be in the spiritual area, but it may also be something that has to do with your body. So again, it could be a yoga practice. It could be a meditation practice. Um, it could be uh, something uh, that you're trying to manifest physically. So you're going to be learning a lot about this. You're going to be either learning a lot about a subject that you want to study, like yoga or meditation or manifesting. manifesting. And so um, this is something that you're going to be wanting to learn about that you're going to be wanting to learn more about in October. And underlying the entire reading, we have the Seven of Ghosts or the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups is all about choices. So for you, underlying everything that you're going through in October, it's all about choices. It's all about considering carefully all of the choices you have in all of the areas of your life and it's about making wise choices for some of you in october you may find yourself daydreaming a lot and you may find yourself having to pull yourself back to reality and uh, to get back to the nitty-gritty of of making correct choices and the choices that are right for you. Now, there's nothing wrong with daydreaming. Sometimes we all need to um, get away in our imagination, and that's fine too. So um, for some of you, <clears throat> October may be about escaping in your daydreams. Just make sure you don't do it for the entire month in all things, in all ways in October. And the other thing may be all about choices that are waiting for you and all the many choices that you have to consider. And it's also about making wise choices in everything you do. So, Aquarius, that is your reading for October 2022. Um, if it was helpful, if you enjoyed it, please give the video a thumbs up. And please consider subscribing to my channel. It's free, and if you hit the notification bell, um, you will be notified whenever new videos are, are available to view. Remember to look at the readings for your rising sign and your moon sign as well. And I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever it is where you are. <clears throat> I hope your Octo October is wonderful and super special. And I appreciate you being with me now. I appreciate you more than you'll know. And I hope to see you again soon. Thanks again. Bye-bye.